Hey, I'm Dr. Alan Partridge, Adobe eLearning Evangelist. I wanted to take a moment to tell you a bit more about Adobe Presenter Video Creator. It's a part of Adobe Presenter 8. Uh, Adobe Presenter Video Creator, specifically this time, I'd like to tell you a little bit more about branding and then publishing your Presenter Video Creator projects. Let's take a look. So here we have an example of the branding and publishing process actually happening in Adobe Presenter Video Creator. Now, if you watch here, I'm actually recording myself. I'm playing back the content of myself being recorded. Once that project is finished, I'm free to actually add some branding. Now, here you can see that the Adobe Presenter Video Creator project has concluded, and I've got my editing screen up. With my editing screen up, I'm actually able to click down here on the timeline and see parts of the timeline. Here I can see the video that's been added automatically inside of Adobe Presenter Video Creator. Let's go down to the branding button. When I click the branding button, I can automatically see all of those themes, the videos before and after. And I can choose from a range of different themes that have been provided out of the box. I can also go in and customize those. If I have video themes that I'd like to put in, maybe you have branding for your company or you have a specific video that you've created for a look and feel for a series of discussions, go ahead and choose that from your hard drive and that video can then become the starting or the ending. You can even add a background image to go behind when you have side by sides. So you can really get a lot of beautiful customization. Now you can also add what are called lower thirds and a lower third is in video when video productions are created you often type in the name of the person who's speaking and maybe their title. Just type them into the lower third text box and you'll be able to get really nice beautiful lower third kind of graphics. You can also add an icon for your branding. Now this is, for example, your corporate logo, or maybe you have a specific product that you want to work with. Here I think I have a product image for uh, Adobe Captivate. So I'll just click on the Adobe Captivate box shot and I add it conveniently right into my particular image. Uh, notice that it's a PNG image. That means the background is transparent and that's how I'm able to get that nice clean shaped edge. So this is how you can create really nice, effective branding for your projects. Just use that branding tab. Now, when you're finished with all of that branding, you might want to consider actually publishing. Click on the publish button and then name your project file. This will help if you want to come back to it later. You give it a name, a name that you'll remember, and then click on publish. When you get to the publish dialog, you're going to have four options. You can publish to YouTube, upload it to connect, put it back into PowerPoint where you came from, or actually publish it to your computer as an MP4 file. This is really handy. So you have a lot of choices that you can use. I'll publish mine to an MP4 file. That way it'll play back on a wide variety of devices. Virtually all mobile phones, smartphones, uh, all kinds of tablets, iPads, iOS devices, and so on, all take advantage of the mp4 video format and they'll all play back your mp4 produced videos quite effectively and quite nicely. Once you've finished publishing your project you'll see a dialog box open and that dialog box will show you two things. It'll show you a bitmap image that's a cover image of that image and it'll also show you the video itself. You can see the video can easily be opened just by clicking on it and you can play back that content and see how you've done.